In the last video, we looked at how to use a motor and a hinge constraint to make attachments spin at a constant rate. In this video, we're going to look at another actuated mode called a servo. Now, this type of actuation makes a hinge spin to a desired position rather than a velocity. We're going to be using this to make a drawbridge. As usual, I'm going to move the pieces of the bridge apart so I can see where I want to put the attachments. Then, because I want the bridge to swing up and down, I'm going to use the rotate tool to change these attachments so they're pointed along that axis. Now let's add power to this joint. First we want to select the attachment and change its actuator type from none to servo. And notice how this makes a little blue line and dot above the first attachment. Now this shows the desired position for the joint. If we change the target angle property of the constraint, we can see that this line moves there's an arrow showing which direction the joint will rotate to get there. When the game runs, the joint was going to move the second attachment so that its up axis, the orange line over here, lines up with the target. Now keep in mind if we want the joint to rotate the other way, we just have to provide a negative angle here. We also need to configure the speed and torque of this servo. The speed is measured in radians like a motor, and in this case I don't think it needs to go very fast. About 0.5 should do. The torque, on the other hand, will likely have to be very big in this case, as this is a pretty large and heavy bridge. We'll probably need about 100 million here. Now keep in mind, you only need to use numbers this large when you're moving something massive like this. When you're making your contraptions, you should tune this number so that it feels right for whatever you're making. Last, I'm going to throw in a quick script to make this bridge raise and lower on a timer. We have other videos on scripting if you're interested in learning more about how this works, but for now I'm just going to keep it simple. First I'm going to insert a script into the hinge constraint itself, and inside just make a variable for the hinge. Then I'm going to set up an infinite while loop by typing while true do, and inside I'm going to change the target angle. First let's open the bridge by typing hinge.targetAngle equals 30, then we'll wait a couple seconds. Then we'll set target angle back to zero, and wait a few more seconds. For my finished game, I'll probably want these waits to be longer, but for now, let's just keep them short so that we can see this working quickly. And now if we run our game, we can see the bridge raising and lowering. One quick note I wanted to make about hinges and how I built this bridge. So two parts that are connected with a hinge will be allowed to move through each other, which is why you can see these parts here overlap. Now if I had other parts connected to these, these parts could bump into each other which wouldn't let the bridge open, and that's why I left this gap here. When making contraptions of your own, it's important to make sure you don't have parts blocking your desired motion. You should either construct your rig so that parts never touch, like I did, or turn off the can collide property for specific parts to let them move through each other.